Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Lone Star Chick Plans and I'm bringing you back for another video today. Today we're going to be going over my mom aka Gramsie's um, May closeout for her budget. So we're a little bit late on this but we're going to put it out there anyway. So let's get into the numbers. As you guys can see, we are starting with rollover of $83.98 and we are ending the month with $48.54 in the bank. So this budget ran from May 1st to May 31st. Um, she is on a fixed low income budget. So she budgets pretty much kind of like one time a month and then just updates as the month goes on. Um, she was out of town, so that's why we're kind of late getting this video out, but she's back now. We kind of settled everything up, so let's see where we are. For income, let's go over income real quick. Let's see what happened. So we had Social Security come in for $1,199. TRS, which is her pension, was $390.07. She gets $150 allowance from her savings. She deposited her month ahead to pay her bills for the month of May, which was $11.23. This came from sinking funds that she saved from April income. Um, she had some uh, income come in from her Shopify store. She had a penny in interest. And then I deposited $44 into her account for um, a June event craft show that we're going to go to. So... That was $3,022 uh, rounded up for her income. So let's go to sinking funds. Sinking funds, we took out and saved $202. And then month ahead, we saved $1,147. Um, for rent, uh, we'll go over here to bills. So for rent, rent was $877 and that doesn't change. The only one that really changes from her bills now that we've got her electric on a fixed amount is um, her water, gas, trash, and pest control, which is through her apartment complex. And that is variable every month. So we're just saving kind of like a set amount to kind of build up a buffer over time. So rent was $877. Water, gas, trash, and pest control was $112.66. Her electric bill is $63. Her internet is $50. She tithed for $165 and car wash was $20. Um, that's a car wash subscription. So for variables this month, she budgeted $230. Um, gas was $55. So this is food and household items. This is anything food related, eating out, buying groceries, anything like that. Um, and, and then anything household. So um, she's been kind of playing around with the descriptions and stuff, trying to just get it honed in to how she likes. Um, we're still kind of playing with the budget numbers because um, if you guys have been watching for a little bit now, she had a reduction in her income from Social Security. And while she did make up for a little bit of that, she has been deducted $135. So she made up $115 of that. Um, so, you know, kind of offset that a little bit, but still kind of playing with these budget numbers to kind of get it in, um, because she is having a little bit of business expenses that also come out. So she's needing to budget a little bit for that too. So we're still playing with the numbers. Um, but she doesn't have a whole lot of categories because she doesn't have a whole lot of money. So that is why we're kind of small in this section right here but um she's got gas spending money forty dollars which she didn't even really spend any of it because she didn't really have it to spend um business she budgeted 115 dollars and spent 118. um we'll just jump back here to food and household so she saved a little bit of money there 223.98 was the actual so she saved six dollars her gas came in at 99 cents uh, below her budget number, which was $55. So that was $54.01. Her spending money, she budgeted $40, but she only spent $10, so that left her with $30. Her um, business budget that she added in here was $115, which she spent $118.01. Um, flowers, this was her portion of the flowers for my uncle's funeral. Um, so that was $14.32. 
So um, let's just go into the variable spending here and we'll just go down the list and total up the month. So let's get into it. So May's rent was 877, water, gas, charge, and pest control was 112.66. Um, I just want to mention real quick before we get into it, the stuff that's colored and highlighted that you can see is credit card spending. So because of the way, if you guys are not familiar with the channel, um, the way we did her month ahead is her month ahead is the ones here highlighted. Um, those are, um, like I said, those are all fixed except for her water, gas, trash, and pest control. What we're having to do because her pension check doesn't come in till the end of the month, this is basically covering all of her variable spending and then her social security income plus her allowance that she gets at the end of, at the beginning of the month is covering all her sinking funds and her month ahead um and her tithes for her budget so because she doesn't get her money till the 29th of the month um we're having a cash flow a little bit um and use the credit card to float her money till last the end of the month so the only hiccup with that is that you know she has to be careful not to overspend because that's pretty much her budget for all her variables so without the business expense stuff she would be at 339 so she would be under the 390 she is kind of in budget unless she doesn't she would be within the 390 unless she budgeted her business income as well as part of her income but right now She's kind of not in a position to because she has, you know, she needs supplies to make the items that she sells. So she needs to be able to invest, reinvest that money back into the business. So let's get back into the spending. She bought some groceries at Walmart and that was $95.78. She paid pirate ship to ship some stuff and that was $4.43. She bought some embroidery thread and that was $33.45. She went to Joanne Fabrics and got some fabric and that was $27.66. Um, she paid for the June event registration that we're going to do the craft show. So that was 44, which I reimbursed her the 44. Um, Walmart, she bought some, I don't know, little knickknack stuff for some stuff she was making. So that was 578. Her savings for a month ahead for the month of June is 1147. And then her sinking funds is 202. Food, more food. Okay, so she ate out at McDonald's. That was 832. She put gas at Bucky's. That was 2951. She bought, oh, she bought like a couple of food items and that was 533 and then she returned something for 210. She bought some vinyl for something she was working on for $7.20. She tithed $82.50 each and then she bought some car stock for $11.75. She paid her electric bill for $63. She shipped something else on Pirate Ship for $8.74. This was the total of the flowers that um, we all pitched in for. And then as you can see down here, we you know all of us kids reimbursed her and that left her with paying 1432 so that's how that worked out for my uncle my dad's brother this was 2374 for lunch at mia's which is a restaurant and that was the day that my uncle passed away may 9th that was um she went out with family because she was there the day that he passed at the hospital and so she went out with um his brothers and sisters to go eat some lunch and then she spent 703 at kroger the next day for some groceries then she put gas again for 24.50 at bucky's she paid her internet bill at t-mobile for 50 dollars she cashed in some rewards and that was 25 dollars um that was the reimbursement for the flowers she bought some more stuff at kroger some more food and and uh pantry items and household items at Kroger and that was $37.62. Her car wash subscription was $20. She bought some more food at Walmart for $24.01 and then she bought a book from Dr. Jeremiah for $5. She spent $24.25 again at Walmart and then $5, $5 at Creative Kiwi Design. So that was all of the spending. That was everything that she spent in the month. That left her with $48.54. Everything has been paid back to the credit card. 
and we are going to be starting the month of june the month was a little bit tough um i think this is our second month with the reduction in social security and it's kind of starting to catch up a little bit because she's just had some expenses come up and then um she was traveling and then just getting used to living on less so um this money she made you know an additional income really didn't go to her that went to business expenses so she really didn't have that income let's say so she really was just trying to live off of seventeen hundred dollars um which is you know she would probably have it if we didn't save for sinking funds and month ahead but then when those bills come up like car insurance and rent insurance she wouldn't have the money to pay for it so we're kind of having to do it this way um and she just you know has to live on less unless she can make more income so that's where we're at so that's where we're ending the month and um i will cut the video off here and we'll see you guys in the next one stay tuned for the june budget bye